Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be discussing on IPv6 addresses. Similar to IPv4, wherein you have seen the special addresses, same way you are going to see which are the different special addresses in IPv6. Just try to recall the IPv4 special addresses. Those were the first one in the list was uh, this host address. Then you had the limited broadcast address. Third one was the loopback address. Fourth one was a block of private addresses. And the last one was multicast addresses. So here we shall see which are the different special addresses available in IPv6. The first one in the list is called as unspecified address. This is similar to the this host address of IPv4. Whenever a client does not know the, its own IP addresses, definitely it will send an inquiry to the DHCP to get the IP address. So it is consisting of what all zeros, complete 128 bits, just see the complete 128 bits are all zeros here, fine, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And if you, you, sh you should also learn how to write the CIR, CIDR notation for each of the special addresses. This is the way for the first one unspecified since you have 128, so slash 128 all the bits and you have seen, you are writing here all the hexadecimal numbers, okay, all are zero, so you will start writing with 00, zero. at least you will show the first two bytes here, here zero, the next is what double colon, double colon indicates the remaining bits are also zeros. So, if you remember, I said, no, the simpler way is 128 bits, you divide it into each section, one section consisting of four numbers, all these four numbers are hexadecimal numbers. So, all these eight sections are separated by colon, any point of time, if you see double colon, that indicates that many sections are having what all zeros. So, here we have indicated in this manner, the CIDR notation. The second uh, special address available is the loopback address. Loopback address, the functionality remains same. It is used basically for testing purposes. Any point of time, if you want to test your own machine, like whether the internet connection is there, you want to test whether your network interface card is working or not. So you have to send a message to yourself. That means the destination address is what the loopback address, it will come to your own machine. And that is consisting of what? Out of 128 bits, 127 bits are all zeros. And the last bit is one. The last bit is one. So. Here, I'll just write down 0, 0, 0, 0, like this 127. The last bit is 1. This is all 127 bits, zeros, and the last bit is 1. Fine. So, this is the loopback address. CIDR notation, you are going to write it in this manner. So, it indicates very clearly this value here, the CIDR notation. The third one in the list is the compatible address. The compatible address is used when a machine which is using IPv6 wants to send a message to an another machine using IPv6 and the address consisting of, consists of what out of 128 bits okay out of 128 bits 96 bits are all zeros all 96 bits are zeros followed by what 32 bits of IPv4 address here you have the IPv4 which is 32 bits so this put together will be how much 128 bits 96 plus 32 the CIDR notation is written over here. The mapped address is the last category in the special addresses and the mapped addresses are used when a computer wants, uh, a computer using IPv6 wants to send a message to an another computer using IPv4. And the address consists, the address is made up of in this manner, 80 bits are all zeros. So if I have to divide all 128, okay, 128, then first 80 bits are all what? Zeros followed by 16 bits are all ones, 16 bits are all ones and last part that is IPv4, there are 32 bits of IPv4 address, 80 plus 16 plus 32 will make it 128. So this is all about the special addresses in IPv6, hope this session is useful to you all, thank you, bye bye, take care.